Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and this is John Rule, and we're here to talk about some photos from events, uh, some of which he, he and I both went to, but I went to all of them. I wouldn't have the pictures, I guess. There is former Senator and Governor and Governor David Pryor. Right. And I don't know if that's a, a little girl's relative, but kids always go hug uh, politicians, especially old ones who are nice. And uh, there was Barbara, uh, his wife, mm -hmm. in that previous picture. And we were at uh, Rick's Cafe for, or bakery for breakfast early uh, mm -hmm. one morning. And mm -hmm. I stayed late enough to catch him alone, or almost alone for those pictures. That you recognize as a skipper. Yep. And it was a, one I hadn't photographed this year, I think, before. You recognize the black swallowtail uh, yes, caterpillar? Yes, I do. I've seen it on my, on my uh, fennel bush. Uh -huh. yeah. And this fennel is a, a blue, is it fennel or what's this one? Anyway, it's another in that family. Mm -hmm. And by the way, these disappeared on Sunday, apparently. They did? Uh-huh. I saw them on Saturday. They were getting real big. Eight of them. They all disappeared off that plant. Well, they are. Well, I and, guess that's good. Yeah. Well, I, it maybe they all made a Christmas that night. Right. Okay, this is from the Watershed Alliance. Uh, right. right. Town right. Ranch Cleanup. And uh, there's one of the participants, a well, first-time mm -hmm. participant there. He was signing up and talking about, about how he likes to do such things. Right. There's a little family group that live in the neighborhood, and they came out, and they went to the creek, but they also walked on the way back along the sidewalk and cleaned up along the street. That's, That's awesome. the Ward 4 meeting last week, mm -hmm. uh, and you see the two ward uh, right. representatives. Right, uh, right. Sarah Marsh and yep. Adela Gray. Yep. And now, from there, I went back down to the cleanup because they were at the same you time. You were busy that day. And there's uh, Janice Silverwolf Walters, a very mm -hmm. dedicated, uh, well, she's dedicated to wildflowers and, right. and volunteering for all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Clean water is everybody's business, talking about protecting water quality from urban runoff. And it this sure is, is a great uh, educational group, the Beaver Lake Beaver right. Watershed Alliance. Alliance. Yeah, yeah. And there's the leader in his blue jacket. He had been to something else and just got back. Rain Garden Project. This is out at Unity Church mm -hmm. on uh, on Weddington Drive, and no. they have a more than a. Well, they probably got a couple acres of land that yeah, serves as a natural a rain time, garden. Yeah. And you can see how far we were from the street there. That's a different skipper. It and sure is. I just confess to adjusting it to brighten it up so you could see that little long horned yeah. grasshopper oh, in there. Otherwise you couldn't right. see it without cropping it and adjusting the color. This is a new trail. I see it is. <laughs> see from that uh, where that stuff's supported there, that's right. going to be the trail. Yeah. They're going to have lights under there. They're going to move that dirt, according to the guy that was yeah. in charge of that construction going on there on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But so the creek can go all the way across. But what they didn't take into account, well, they never do with our tree trail building right. thing. That little low flow of water can run over that bridge. <laughs> Completely <laughs> over the bridge. On South School, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, this is the so-called, um, what I call it, um, shrubby. Shrubby, right, St. John's Wort? That's it, yeah. Right. And well, I the, didn't know that's what his bloom looked like. I've well, seen well, the, it, you see how the, the, bloom the, before. the petals lie back right. and they're little green Man, almost a sundew uh, type sepals of, yeah. behind that, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is the... Uh, coral berry, we call it uh, mm -hmm. butt brush in a lot of mm. part of this part of the country here. But it's it's about to bloom, and you'll see those berries on it red in the winter. That surprised me. It surprised me, of course, and, and uh, I 
I sneaked up there and surprised it and got its picture. First one I've seen this year, anyway. Yeah. And that was, of course, the honeysuckle. Till next time, right, Barbara Sherwood, you can do your part to help keep the water green here. Amen. Hey, Hello, I'm Arthur Shepherd with John Rule again, and it's the, uh, hmm, what day is it, John? 21st? 21st. Okay, Maybe. there is a native, what? Uh, Sporanthes orchid. And right. It's pretty tiny. Very orchid. There's one of the things that uh, is not uh, what we think of as the most common dandelion, but it's a it's a beautiful flower, and it's uh, similar except you see it's a paler yellow right and it's it's magnificent it's a native plant it looks almost like a tick seed and in a way at the ends of the petals yeah. okay here we've got uh, two colors out of the same root uh, pink and white and uh, these are what did i call them hmm. well they're known as rose pink i think mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the names but when you look at the white one, you think you should call it rose white, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there we go to another. That's a different orchid on a different spot. Both these on Pinnacle Prairie. And you got to look close in the grass to uh, find those great. tiny things. Wow, you got bees and two, mutton. Two, yeah, two kinds of, of bumblebee family uh, on that one thing. And they were wrestling over it just about. And they were really working it. One thing I noticed more of this year than usual, see how those um, button bush yeah. inflorescences are clustered together like that? Right. And it's just, it, it's just been a good rainy season right there at the last when they were growing fast. And this is a tiny moth, and it's on a button bush, of course, and I call it the gold and black and white. Well, I can't remember. The I've name seen it. I've seen it before in, in a book, but uh, in my guidebook, it's probably on a button bush down at your place. Mm -hmm. That I'm not sure what it is, but it's going to be a great big, pretty one soon. Yeah. This is swamp vervain, or verbicina, something or other, and uh, this particular one is right there, close to. Pinnacle Prairie Trail, and I'm hoping mm -hmm. it doesn't mm -hmm. get mowed or get somebody doesn't uh, keep it from going to seed somehow because that's an annual plant that has mm -hmm. to go to seed or we won't see it again in that place next year. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've also. That's too bad. Okay, this rattlesnake master has oh, you done got a scarab there. Some there. kind of fat beetle, man. Yeah. Uh, beautiful, isn't he? Yep, scarab beetle, June bug, June bug beetle. June bug. All right, everybody knows the June bug. Well, there's not the everybody old, knows scarab. There's the old plain brown ones, and then there are the fancy ones. Yeah, well, that was these are beautiful. This is Leatris up close out of Pinnacle Prairie. And I hope these keep blooming, and there are plenty of uh, other species of Eleatris which haven't started blooming. So when we, when these are uh, go to seed, there'll be others. Yeah, beautiful. It must be a big family, Eleatris. Yeah, you know, all these, there are very few plants are just in one, you know, one right. that category. Right. Um, that's a partridge pea. We saw one in that right. first one, and here's another one, and this one's at Pinnacle Prairie. Those are the uh, wood nymphs. Mm -hmm. and Man, they are beautiful in their way. They, it's, this isn't the same couple of them we saw yeah. before. Right. This is a different day at Pinnacle Prairie. There are so many mm -hmm. of those and the little, the smaller ones that look very similar, and I've got some pictures of those. But Man, I don't those think are great shots. Today. Great shots. They're just a magnificent creature. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there, can you see the bug on there? Or a little beetle? Uh, Looks like yeah, it's built like a soldier right. beetle, right, but right. it's got different stripes, mm -hmm. and I'm not familiar right. with that particular one. Yeah. I bet it's in the soldier beetle family. 
and they're built like um, lightning bugs. So well, there are not many beetles in the world. They're just uh, about yeah. 80 million species. So. Okay, we're once again looking at the, uh, oh. some shots. Uh, I had to run some more of these from a different day. Um, the prairie. Um, the woody or br brushy, what, I, what do I call it? Um, oh. St. John's War. Anyway. Yeah, okay, well, those okay. will be in bloom, I hope, for a while. People get to see them around. Till next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking John Rule to help me keep the water clean, woods pure, and air blue. All right, <laughs> see ya.